नो शुगर कोटिंग ओनली रूड एंड ब्लंट एडवाइस फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू टूडे ऑन रसायनिका रीजन बिकॉज आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू लाई I want to tell you the truth of what's happening around in your industry what is happening with your academia your universities are really mistreating the talent which you have and it's time we fix this so this video is going to solve all your problems if you watch till the end and comment below what are your opinions the first thing first like why i said no sugar coating is because many a times in my videos i will be very very polite and i'll say hey do this do that But today, this video is going to be a wake-up call. There is a dark truth inside which you need to know, and the dark truth is not in the industry. Industry is busy making money, making profit. They are not bothered about you. That's the first blunt truth. They don't care about freshers. They do care about trained professionals. That's the second blunt advice. The third is your university doesn't care. They got the money. Your college doesn't care. They got the money. Now you don't exist to them. I have hardly seen a single college in our country which really bothers about placement. But here's the dark truth about colleges: they took the money, and they give you a paper, and that paper has no value. That's called degree. Many cases I have seen, they don't even conduct experiments. Basic titrations are also not done in the absence of reagent and chemicals and instruments. Four four students are sharing instruments, and they uh, three are watching, and one is doing. Tell me how the industry will hire. High industry will not hire you, correct? So I'm sorry to say, that is the truth. But what is the solution now? Let's look at that. So another problem with uh, academia, the so-called colleges are they are grooming you for a research jobs, but there are no such research jobs in the industry. Not all the industries are in research; they are in different, different other things which you can still get jobs. And they are not core research, but they are chemistry jobs. I'll come to that also. Now many say research is what chemistry is all about. No, there are multiple other things. Reality check is research jobs are few, lower paid, bad work life balance, and highly competitive and very crowded. Even PhD holders are struggling. And now this is another lie people will tell you. Do BSc, then they will say do MSc. Okay, done MSc, then they say no, 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 do PhD also. Once you are done PhD, didn't get job, do postdoc also. What? This is a degree madness. One after the other, nothing. B.Sc or M.Sc is enough. Don't go above it. M.Sc is too much. After that, you have to look for jobs. So you spent your dad's money and your time, right? And you deserve to get a return over investment. And that's what a signing guy is committed about. Okay? We'll tell you where are the jobs, and we'll tell you what are the skills needed, and we'll train you if you need that. Okay? So, uh, like I said, marks doesn't matter. So if your marks is fifty-five percent also, basic minimum eligibility that's more than enough. what matters is you need to know hands on right so recruiters will ask do you know the instruments which all instruments you can run dc lc ms all of that now what softwares can you handle what problems have you solved in the absence of project now they call it the nep national education you know new education system something like that what what's happening in that the professors are not equipped you bring in nep they they don't know how to handle it so the result will be the same right you create a new road but you run tractors on that the road will break only right so then you create a new syllabus but the professors are the same right so see i'm not here to bash anybody i'm here to tell you the blunt truth time has come that you wake up open your eyes okay 75% of toppers have zero exposure to industry zero exposure to experiments and they struggle right so there's no need of becoming a topper instead look for the right job okay every day just visit rasayanika i am not saying that you go anywhere just visit rasayanika see what kind of jobs are coming early exposure is important right then look at what kind of internship is happening just yesterday we posted a very nice internship so do that then projects look for what kind of projects are coming temporary projects okay jrf srf 8000 they'll pay take it as a like they are paying you to train you right take it no problem and then master the tool right and on the top of it data now they don't train you in instrument forget data where you will get data so that is where hplc gclc ms all this data training is very much important right so what happened there in your industry is they told you organic chemistry medicinal chemistry inorganic chemistry physical chemistry and other stuff you got into that battle but that battle even if you win listen sir what do you need to do you need to learn the instruments you need to learn 
how data analysis is done. You need to know how to deliver results. You need to know how to communicate. You need to know how to document. You need to know how to design this SOP. You need to learn all of this first. And that is where Rasainika comes into picture. We have so many certification courses on Rasainika stores. We have so many internships, projects on Rasainika stores, which you can take. Recently, we did the AIML in drug discovery and chemistry, chem informatics. Then we also uh, conduct the pharmacovigilance training. We also conduct the QA, QC, regulatory compliance, regulatory affairs, global regulatory affairs uh, training. All of that you can take, right? Computational chemistry, data, AI. Right. This is where you can get a job. So, what are the where are the jobs apart from research? Analytical chemistry, uh, quality control, global regulatory affairs, clinical research, pharmacovigilance, materials and polymer chemistry, computational chemistry with AI, of course, sales and business development, tech marketing is always there, right? So, how do we get started? What is the next step? So, enough of bashing. Here is the clear-cut pathway. As soon as you finish your degree or while you're still doing your degree, come to Rasainika, do at least one project. Okay, do a project with our scientist and get that work experience later. Once you've done that, then go and apply in industry. Learn the industry tools, learn the industry um, analytical tools and the data analysis and then get the document uh, documentation exposure at Rasainika. And then stop chasing certificates. Certificates are zero value. I can give you a paper. It has no value, right? So let's say that this is a medicine, but if it is empty, this this thing is empty, it has no value, right? The same thing. Without skill set, it's of no use, right? So 10 certificates, no use. One real skill, yes, that's important. Go for, do fewer programs, but project-based, right? Like we have AML in chemistry, project-based. Pharmacovigilance, project-based. Global regulatory affairs, project-based. Quality assurance, quality control, project. That's where. So you, when you do projects, you learn fast because you fall fast. You will be in the right domain. You will be able to say that you're no longer a fresher. So industry will now care for you. Like I said, industry cares for trained professionals, right? And initially, low salary might be there. But it grows very, very fast as soon as you have learned. So that's the investment. The first job, the second job, it's all an investment, right? And nobody will come to guide you and say that, you know, boss, do this. I'm doing it. Nobody else will do it. Go and watch out. Nobody will give you honest advice or blunt advice. They'll say, you know, college will fix it. College doesn't fix it. College will not fix it. Professors are outdated. Relatives will just taunt on you. Everybody around you will give you generic data. Friends are equally confused, right? So your career is your responsibility. No one else. Okay. So enough of living a passive life. Enough of... Uh, saying that chemistry is a dead field. Enough of saying that I chose the wrong field. You can't change that now, right? Passive chemistry careers are dead. Activeness is required. What's that? Learn industry tools, build projects, adapt to new technology, AIML, and stop waiting for someone to come and do the magic for you. You are responsible for your destiny, okay? And simple career map is go to rasainika.com check out what kind of jobs are getting posted what skills required build that skill apply get it and of course do projects with us this is how it works now without any prejudice let me tell you this many people will head this video many people will write bad things about chemistry about me on this video i don't care i'm genuinely honestly interested in seeing you shine and that's why i made this video colleges will take tell you know show you a rosy picture and then don't give you placement we give you placement we train you we tell you whether the jobs we help you apply and we'll get you the jobs right and that's what Rasainika has been standing for for last 12 to 15 years right so let's come together and win the world and of course in the comment section tell me what more you need I'll make a video because I'm all here for all of you all the best <laughs>